So you got the Hermit card as the first card, and this is about being very, very focused on your work and making plans for the future. And you're, uh, whatever you're doing, you're becoming an expert at it. With this Virgo card, it's about being very, very organized, uh, being very analytical, and uh, you know, being very focused on whatever it is you want to be doing. So um, you, you're putting aside all kinds of distractions, and you are focusing on it. You might be even doing some further study as well in order for you to progress. You've got the hope card over here, and you can see you've been, uh, you know, getting rid of any kind of uh, emotional baggage that you've been carrying that is associated with that work, and you're trying to find the balance. You've got Saturn over here, and you've got, um, you know, the sign of Libra over here. So this is finding that balance in your work and being very, very focused on it as well. And there's a lot of inspiration that is coming in for you as well uh, with this particular card. You got the Biblicity card over here, so this is learning and this is uh, using that knowledge in order for you to make plans for the future. So this is what you you will be doing, and this is about uh, being very insightful in in whatever you're doing. So you're got, getting a you know a lot of new ideas. You can see there's that star. This is like the Temperance card over there. Oh. Actually, no, this is like the star card, rather, uh, within the main tarot deck. So this is about you know, getting that inspiration and using that inspiration for the future and making plans for the future. So in the past, you've got that exchange. So there might have been uh, a lot of business uh, transactions that you were involved in, a lot of business dealings, a lot of communication with a lot of people. So there's been an exchange of ideas. There's been a lot of exchange of information between you and, and somebody else. Uh, or, the, you know, whatever you're working in involves a lot of communication, a lot of exchange, collaboration, rather. Uh, the return card here is the, the beginning. It's the full card. So you made some kind of brand new beginning um, and, uh, you know, you've started something by taking a lot of lessons from the past and harmonizing those lessons. You manage, uh, you know, you're 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 using those uh, lessons that you learned from the past and you're Im implementing it in your current situation in order for you to move forward. So, uh, you know, whatever your foundations are, they're pretty strong and you're having to go back to maybe lessons learned or maybe old information and you're using that. Uh, you started something brand new, it seems. So going into the future, you've got uh, the card of patrimony, which is about... Uh, it's talking about inheritance. So there might be some kind of you know, windfall coming in for you. Uh, there might be some kind of money coming in for you. There might be a settlement coming in for you in the near future that brings in that money. And you've got the chance card over here. And this is almost like, um, you know, it's almost like the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, it's a new opportunity being offered to you in order for you to move forward. So it looks like the universe is going to be providing some kind of change for you and bringing in that new opportunity uh, so that you can actually move forward um, you need to take that risk um, uh, in order for you to um, take a chance, really, in order for you to move, move forward. So there's some, some kind of money coming in for you, but there's also an opportunity that you might need to take a chance on, uh, take a risk on, uh, in order for you to move forward. It's something unexpected. So those are the energies for those two weeks. Now I'm going to be using the Vanessa Tarot for the uh, main read. bottom of the deck you've got the sun card over here and this is having worked very very hard in order for you to achieve your goal so you've got gone through a lot there's some uh, clouds over the sun over here so it seems like you know uh, there have been problems that you have been dealing with but you've been quite successful you've been working long hours very late hours you might have been doing a lot of travel but the road or your pathway is open you can see this pathway is open over here um, and you might be saying goodbye to an old job and moving forward to something new an old situation rather uh, and moving on um, and, you know, you are going to be very successful with the sun card. It always brings in success after lots of hard work. You've got the chariot. It looks like there's some kind of move coming in for you. So there might be some travel coming in. Or you might be relocating to do this new job that you're going to be doing. Uh, you know, on the other side, 
it says that you know you could be buying a new home or you could even be buying a new car but whatever you have been doing has been bringing in the money because you've got that cow over there that is usually signifies money there's a lot of uh, shopping going on over here so you might be doing a lot of shopping as well um, you know having earned pretty well um, but there's a lot of success with this card and you're very determined uh, you know you're very very ambitious as well and it seems like you're getting there as well you've got that fourth one so this is about celebration and stability uh, this is about uh, you can see these people having a good time with the uh, the wine over here and you know it looks like you know abundance has been coming in for you and you are now enjoying uh the rewards of that because you can see this person's done a lot of shopping so uh you know the four of wands is about uh setting on strong firm foundations maybe this particular post that you have been working in uh you know it's been uh something that has brought in that um um success and has brought in that stability and has brought in the recognition that you have uh, been looking for. Now, in the past, you've been dealing with a lot of problems or you've been dealing with a, on a, with a lot of, you've taken on a lot of responsibility and you've been sorting through it. It might made, have made you very tired. Maybe you're feeling a bit worn out at this particular moment. Uh, this has been going on for the last year. So you've been sorting things out and you've been one that's in charge um, and, you know, you've been getting through things um, quite um successfully actually you've got the seven of coins over here now the seven of coins is um you know about investing uh your efforts or energy and time into a particular project and maybe not getting the rewards that you expected from it so whatever you know you've been taking on a lot of responsibilities and burdens with this nine of wands over here and the seven of coins comes in and says you know whatever you have been investing and hasn't made that payoff yet you've been waiting for that payoff to come Again, you've got that clouds over there, but there's been some kind of problem that's prevented that, uh, you know, it didn't meet your expectation and it's prevented that payoff that you expected. So you didn't get what you wanted. Uh, you know, you have had success, but it looks like, you know, it wasn't um, a bigger success as you hoped it would be. Maybe you felt, maybe you're feeling like you wasted your time a little bit because you've been working so hard in it. All your efforts have not paid off. Now, you've got the Queen of Coins over here, and this is your card. And this is talking about, you know, this is what you want. This is on your mind. You want that financial um, independence. You want, uh, you know, to be on top of things, and you want to be in charge of things. And this is where your ambition is. This is what you're vying for. So going into the future, you've got this page of coins over here. So there might be a new job offer. Or you might be considering a new job offer. You've got this uh, person with uh, this child, rather, with a magnifying glass looking at the coin. So there, you know, you're you're considering you're considering some kind of new job offer very very seriously. You're looking at it and you want to make a brand new start. It seems because you know uh, you want to move on to something something else. Uh, you want abundance to come in. You've got this little rabbit over here. So you want more money to come in. So you're considering a new option, it seems, with this page of coins. Now what's going on with you? You've got the high priestess over here. So there's some kind of information that is missing. So you either need to do some kind of study, some kind of research. The high priestess usually has the keys to the, you know, the knowledge. Uh, there, it looks like in this card has got the end of moon cycle. Uh, she's a card that is ruled by the moon. So there's something that's hidden, something that has not come to light yet. There's some information that is missing. So you might need to go and do some further study, some further research, uh, you know, ask the questions, um, ask the right people the right questions, or ask for some advice uh, in order for this information to be revealed for, to you. Uh, by and large, you're actually going on your own intuition as well for whatever you're doing. Um, you know, you're actually standing alone and you're working by yourself and waiting for things to happen, really. But you might need to do some research, be a little proactive uh, in order for you to get the ball rolling. You've got the three of wands over here, so there might be some trouble coming up as well with this... Um, um, with this card, it's talking about collaborating with a lot of people. You might be taking some, uh, doing some international travel with regards to work. So a business trip might be coming in. Maybe this new job that you're going to be doing, since it's sitting next to the page of coins, is going to draw, um, you know, involve a lot more travel and a lot more, uh, you know, going overseas kind of a scenario where you're meeting a lot more people. Uh, but you're definitely putting out some kind of project out there and waiting for returns as well. Then you've got the Three of Cups over here. So you do want to have a little bit of a relax. Uh, maybe you, you're trying to make new friends as well with the Three of Cups. And you want success. So this is about, you know, having uh, a lot more friends, uh, communicating and uh, celebrating success as well. So that's being on your mind. So going into the future, you've got that Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Coins. So the Six of Cups... 
um, is about looking to the past, uh, you know, and trying to make a decision. There's an old cycle ending over here for you. There could be a new job offer coming in, and it might have been something that, you know, coming in from somebody that you've known from the past or worked with from the past, or maybe a company that you've, um, you know, uh, had some kind of dealings with in the past. Uh, with the Six of Cups, it's about an offer. There could be an offer of study as well coming in with that Six of Cups. So it's usually a, uh, something that you need to complete, uh, and it might be something that comes in from the past. Um, and you've got that Ten of Cups, so this is the end of, uh, you know, difficulties, and this is the beginnings of something new and celebrating that newness that comes in. The end of uh, the, the Ten of Cups is that end of those, you know, the problems that you've been having, or even you know, ending relationships um, with people that you've been working with for a long time. So you could be ending a situation and moving on. Uh, maybe you've been working in a job for a long time and you're planning on ending it and going forward, moving forward. And it looks like, you know, there might be this new, it's involving this new job offer that might that you're considering at this particular moment. So you might be in this company or it might be in this situation for a long time and now you're getting a bit restless and you want to move on. And you're weighing your options over here. You've got that two of coins. Um, you're deciding whether or not you want to leave your stability or whether you, and whether you want to move forward. You're also looking, doing a financial assessment of some sort uh, where you're looking about which particular job, uh, you know, is going to pay you more and also whether or not you want to, you know, leave behind that kind of stability so you're sitting on the fence at the moment trying to make a decision. You are weighing up all the options and you're thinking about what you want to do. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, fairy tarot. And this is the Oracle Read. And you've got the star card. And this is saying that look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy change that brings relief from challenging situations. So it looks like there's something coming in, uh, you know, some kind of um, new opportunity coming in for sure. Uh, and you need to be a bit optimistic. So don't be negative about whatever is coming in. Um, you know, you are weighing the options. You are th trying to think about what you want to do. But don't be negative. Always keep a positive attitude in order for you to uh, progress. You've got the Empress card over here. So it says time to take action. The power of creativity, success that allows a life of luxury. So it looks like, you know, uh, you've got that challenge card over here so you know your determination will bring in your success with this uh, chariot card it's taking control of any kind of circumstance that is going on so if there's a lot of problems that are you are dealing with you know you, if you take control of the situation you will be able to reap the rewards the empress is ruled by venus and this is the card of abundance and luxury so this is coming in uh, but you need to take action at the moment you're um, coming across as the high priestess which is somebody sitting and waiting for things to happen but the empress is now advising for you to actually start being proactive take uh, action make a decision really you've got the nine of spring over here protect the fruits of your labor prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead uh, environmental uh, conservation so this is like the nine of uh, rods over here now you have been dealing with that in the past the nine of wands and there still looks like there are still some problems that you are going to be sorting out uh, and uh, you know whatever challenge there is uh, you you will be able to sort it out but you do need to be very positive so it looks like you're trying to make a decision as to whether or not you want to move you are considering this job very very carefully you're looking into all it all of the aspects of it. You're exploring everything that is there and you're trying to make a decision over here with this two of coins as to whether you want to move on. Uh, you know, you want to leave this old circumstance that you are in. There might be an offer that comes in from uh, somebody that you worked with in the past. And it looks like this new job that if you take it on will involve a lot more travel, uh, you know, a lot more overseas uh, travel or collaborating with a lot of people on an international basis as well. So you are faced with the decision at the moment. And it looks like you will be successful uh, if you decide to make that change. Uh, you've got that chariot. It looks like there is success if you make the change. Even that sun card is showing success. Your road is clear. So the decision is actually in your hands at the moment as to whether you want to go or whether you want to stay. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.